Welcome everyone. Let's begin. Please stand and shake everything out and warm up your bodies. It's pretty light behind me, so I probably seem like a silhouette, but we're gonna do this anyway. I'm not in my regular location. So, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Let's take some deep cleansing breaths. Inhale up, exhale, reach and lower all the way down to the sides. Check the posture and take another deep cleansing breath. Inhale up, exhale, reach and lower. Keep the feet flat on the floor, bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale and stretch up from side to side at your own pace, reaching and breathing, feeling the stretch up the sides of your body. Check the posture nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Take another deep cleansing breath, inhale up, exhale, reach and lower down. We're gonna start warming up our midsections, go up and then go down and add some balance to the mix. So nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down, arms up, inhale. Exhale, reach and lower the arms to the T position, palms down. Keeping the legs and hips stationary, take a deep breath in. Exhale and rotate just the upper body to the left. You have to be careful now. Front, inhaling. Exhale, rotate just the upper body to the right. Front, inhaling. Exhale, lower the left arm and bring the right arm straight up, adding Mary to our group. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach, lengthen, stay in the same plane and stretch to the side. Weight evenly distributed on both feet, abs in tight. Bring that right shoulder back as you reach, look up. Align the left shoulder and feel the stretch of the right side of your body. Breathing. Make sure you're muted, Mary. Up inhaling. Exhale, change sides. Check the posture, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and stretch in the same manner on this side of your body. Weight on both feet, abs in tight, stay in that same plane. Left shoulder pulled back as you reach up, look up, align the right shoulder and feel the stretch up the left side of your body. Breathing. Up inhaling. Exhale, both arms straight up. Check the posture, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms to the parallel position. I'll turn to the side. Reach forward, arms are parallel to the floor and to each other, pulling those shoulder blades apart. Then release, bring the arms back from behind, clasp the fingers together, straighten the arms, squeezing the shoulder blades together opening the chest. And if you want a little more, bend the knees, knees directly over the feet, head and neck, an extension of the spine. Arms can be low, high, or anywhere in between. The chest open and breathe. We're adding Marie now. Great. Love to have the people. Okay. Now straighten the legs, inhaling. Exhale, either hold it here with the chest open or arch back, jaw closed for a better stretch on the neck. Lengthen the spine, breathe. Up inhaling, release the hold, keep the shoulders back and bring those shoulders up. No neck, up by those ears, relax the arms. Breathing.
And now release, long arms, long neck. See if you can mute Marie, if possible. Now release. And bring the elbows up, bending the elbows and roll the shoulders back. Great big circles, loosening up the torso as you fold. And straighten the arms for full range of motion. Try to mute you, Marie. I think I just did. There you go. You're muted now. Sorry about that. Okay. Shake everything out, moving your hips from side to side. Shake each foot out as if you're shaking off water. The mid part of our body should be pretty well warmed up. Not quite yet, though. Put the hands on the front of your thighs. Keep the shoulders back and down and bend at the hips. The upper arms will be up against the torso. So you have a nice flat back and try not to round the back. As you bend at the hips, push out through the glutes. Keep those abs in tight, head and neck an extension of the spine and breathe. If you modify and soften your knees, it's okay. You just won't get the same hamstring and glute stretch that you will if you keep the legs nice and straight. Listen to your body and breathe. Lengthen that spine. Then release the hold and just let the upper body relax down. Let gravity pull you down. Abs are in tight. If you want, you can rotate just the upper body to the right, legs and hips stationary. Your fingertips can be on the back of the right thigh, calf, ankle, or on the floor or a prop. Just keep those abs in tight. And then rotate in a fluid motion over to the other side. Fingertips again on the back of the left thigh, calf, ankle, or on the floor or a prop. Breathing. Then come back to the center. Just let the upper body relax down, let gravity pull you down. No stress on the head and neck. And then slowly round up, one vertebra at a time. Head, neck, and arms relax. And as the head comes up, bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale and stretch up from side to side at your own pace reaching and breathing, feeling the stretch up the sides of your body. Now check that posture again, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Take another deep cleansing breath, inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower all the way down to the side. Now our midsection's pretty well warmed up. Some of our legs are as well, but we're gonna warm up our heads and necks. So nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Lower the chin to the chest. Press the chin into the chest. Release. Heavy head roll over to the left shoulder. Ear over the left shoulder, keep the shoulders back and down. Feel the stretch of the opposite side of the neck. If you have any kind of neck issues, only roll in the front. If not, heavy head, roll to the center back, jaw closed. Heavy head, roll to the right shoulder. Check the posture. Keep a heavy head throughout on this posture. Center front, pressing the chin into the chest. Release, right shoulder, going in the opposite direction now. Keep those shoulders back and down. Back if you can. Left shoulder. 
center front pressing the chin into the chest. Release. Now center front looking forward, inhaling. Exhale, turn, look over the right shoulder. Keep the shoulders back and down. Inhale, look up to the right. Exhale, look down to the right. Center front, inhale. Exhale, turn, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, look up to the left. Exhale, look down to the left. Center, front, inhale. Exhale, shake everything out. We're ready to do the lower part of our body a little more. Shake those feet out a little bit more too. You should be pretty well warmed up. Let's have our feet out about twice the width of our shoulders. Feet pointed forward with slightly out a little bit if it's comfortable for you. We're just going to be moving our hips forward and back and rolling to the sides. Hands on the waist or your hips. Push the hips forward. Push the hips back. Push the hips forward again. Continue to breathe. Roll to the left. Roll back. Roll to the right. Roll forward. Now we'll go in the opposite direction. So roll to the right. Roll back. Roll to the left. And roll forward. Back to the center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, toes pointed outward, heels in, so that your feet are at about a 45 degree angle. You can keep your hands on your waist or your hips or bring the arms up in halo. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms to the T position, palms down. Lengthen those arms and try to keep them as parallel to the floor as possible. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, stretch to the right, bending the knee over the foot. Keep the abs in tight throughout. Up, inhale. Exhale, stretch to the left. Same on this side of your body. Up, inhale. Exhale, right again. You may repeat, or if you want, you can reach toward the floor. Keep the abs in tight throughout. Up, inhale. Exhale, left. Whatever you did on the other side, do on this side as well. Up, inhale. Exhale, right again. You may repeat one that we did or cross over and open to the back, looking up, breathing, knee over that foot, abs in tight. Lengthen the spine. Up, inhaling in the center. Exhale, whatever you did on the other side, repeat on this side as well. Breathe. Up, inhaling in the center. Exhale, arms up. Check the posture, inhale. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms to the T position, palms down. I'm bringing my feet in just a bit, but keep the feet at a 45 degree angle. Bend both knees, lower the hips. Hopefully those knees are over the feet, torso tall. Lower the hips a little more if you can. Palms up and slowly come up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Walk the feet. Shake everything in. Let's add a little balance to the mix now. So focus on a spot in front of you that doesn't move. You can have your hands on the waist or the hips, whatever feels best for you. Start with your feet as parallel to each other as possible. They can touch if you want. Certainly no more than shoulder width apart, particularly as you balance. Focus on that spot. I'll do the right side first, which is my more difficult side. Do what works for you. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and bring the right knee up in front of you. Lower it and Exhale, right knee up in front. 
rotate it to the side, lower to the side, inhale. Exhale, up to the side, lower, inhaling. Exhale, up to the side, rotate it to the front, and lower, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhaling. Exhale, bring that left knee up in the front now. Lower, inhaling. Exhale, left knee up in the front, rotate it to the side, lower to the side, inhaling. Exhale, up to the side, lower, inhaling. Exhale, up to the side, rotate it to the front, and lower, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhale. Inhale. Exhale. And we're going to bring, we're going to still work on the right side for me. Take another deep breath in, a little different. Exhale, bring that right leg forward. Leg is straight, foot is flexed. Point the toe, flex the foot. Point, flex. Bring the leg out to the side. Leg is straight, foot is flexed. Point, flex. Point. Flex, bring it to the back. Leg is straight, foot is flexed, tighten the glute. Point, flex, point, flex. Lower, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhaling. Exhale, left side now. Bring that left leg forward in the same manner. Point, flex, point, flex. Bring it to the side, point, flex, point, flex. To the back, tighten that glute, point, flex, point, flex. Lower, inhale, exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhale, exhale, shake everything out. We'll add a little bit of the balance. I'm going to make it just a little darker in here because I feel like I'm a ghost. Maybe you don't feel it or sense it, but I feel like I'm like a ghost. But that's okay. Might be interesting. Might be worse. I'm not sure. So let's do a tree on each side of our bodies, and then we might do a little bit more balance. So focus on that spot in front of you that doesn't move. Relax the arms and inhale. Exhale, bring the right knee up in the front and rotate the knee out to the side. Place the sole of the foot on the inner leg, wherever you can, even if it's down at the ankle. Push it in, pull the knee back, torso tall, arms up inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and you can be in the V position with the arms or prayer position. And then get back into it. Focus on your spot and your breathing. Turn my pants are slippery. Hopefully yours are not. Focus on your spot and breathe. Up inhaling. Exhale, release, and lower down. Check the posture and take a deep cleansing breath. Inhale up. Exhale, reach, and lower. Let's see if this side will be a little better. Relax the arms, inhaling. Exhale, bring the left knee up. Bring the knee out to the side. Sole of the foot anywhere you can along that inner leg. Push it in, pull the knee back, torso tall, bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach either the V position or prayer position. Focus on your spot, your posture, and your breathing.
up and inhale. Exhale, reach, release, and lower down. Check that posture. And let's take another deep cleansing breath. Inhale up. Exhale, reach, and lower. Now, let's do a dancer's pose. And I'll turn to the side to do this one. So focus on the spot in front of you. I'm going to do balance on my left leg first. So bring the right leg up. You can hold the toes, the foot, or the ankle. Bring the left arm up and bring the leg behind you and come forward to balance, reaching with that arm. Up inhaling, exhale, and stand again. Relax the arms inhaling, moving your hips from side to side, and let's do the other side. Focus on a spot that doesn't move, relax the arms inhaling again. Exhale, bring that left leg up, hold the foot, ankle, or toes, bring the right arm up, bring the left leg up behind you, come forward to balance, focus on your spot, and breathe. Up inhaling, exhale, release, and lower. Let's take another deep cleansing breath. Check that posture. Up inhale. Exhale, reach and come down. Roll the shoulders back. Great big circles. Loosening up the torso as you roll. Straighten the arms for full range of motion. Now shake out again, moving your hips from side to side. And let's do a sun salutation. We're going to uh, stand at the front of our mats. Nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach upward or arch back, reaching back. Looking at the fingertips, if you can. Up inhaling. Exhale, stretch forward, bending at the hips. And come into either Ardha Uttanasana with the fingertips on the floor or Uttanasana with the palms on the floor beside the feet. Only bending the knees if you need to. Now bend the knees enough to slide both feet back into a downward dog. Feet hip width apart, hips in the air, up on those toes. Push the heels down, head between the arms, lengthen the torso and arms. Rotate the shoulders down from the outside so the triceps are somewhat facing downward and breathe in this downward facing dog. It's also called Adho Mukha Svanasana. Now lower the hips to a plank or a high hover position. Stay high on the shoulders. And try to make sure the rear end's not sagging or sticking up as best you can. Head and neck are an extension of the spine. Breathing, anytime you do a plank, you're working on your upper body strength and your core. Especially if you're staying nice and straight. And now open to the right to a side plank. 
You can modify with that left or lower knee on the floor. You can have the heel of one foot up against the toes of the other, or stack your feet on top of each other. Whichever you choose, focus on your posture and your breathing. If you want, lower the upper arm above the head. Bring it back up, inhaling. Exhale, back down to a plank. Check your posture, make sure you're stable, and then open to the other side. And whatever you did on the other side of your body, try to do on this side as well. Focus on your posture and your breathing. You want lower the upper arm above the head. Bring it back up, inhaling. Exhale back down to a plank. Check your posture, make sure you're stable. Then bring those hips back up into the air, feet hip width apart. Up on those toes, push the heels down, lengthen. Again, come into the downward facing dog. And if you're not modifying on your knees, Walk your dog, keeping the toes on the floor and the abs in tight throughout. Bend one knee as you push the other heel closer to the floor. At your own pace, walk your dog, switching sides, feeling the stretch up the back of your legs, breathing. Then push both heels down. Lower the hips again to a plank or a high hover position. High on those shoulders. Now bend the elbows and come down to a low hover. You might already be modifying on your elbows. But stay high on the shoulders there, elbows directly underneath those shoulders. Breathe. You can always modify by lowering the legs and the tops of the feet to the floor. You'll basically be in an elbow cobra, which we're going to do later, but we're going to do a side plank here also. So open to the right. You can modify by lowering the hip to stay high on that shoulder breathing. You want lower the upper arm above the head. Bring it back up, inhaling. Exhale back down to an elbow plank or a low hover, and then open to the other side. And whatever you did on the other side of your body, do on this side as well. If you need to modify, do so. If not, just do the posture the best you can. You want lower the upper arm above the head. Bring it back up, inhaling. Exhale back down to a, a low hover or elbow plank. Now you may hold it here if you want or come back up on your palms just to work on that upper body strength. Check your posture, breathing. Then knees on the floor, tops of the feet on the floor. You can come back into a puppy pose with the rear end in the air, forearms and head on the floor, or slide all the way back to a moon position, resting the rear end on the heels, or as close as you can, arms still outstretched, head and neck relaxed, abs in tight, breathing. Pick the head up, slide the arms forward. 
elbows on the floor, clasp your fingers together again and come into a quick low hover, high on those shoulders. Use the core, use, strengthen your back, your abs, your obliques, and working on that upper body strength. Then lower the quads and the tops of the feet to the floor. Look up, high on those shoulders, and this elbow cobra, breathing. And if you want, you can switch to a sphinx. Just place the palms on the floor and the forearms on the floor in front of you. Breathing. You may hold it here breathing or palms on the floor beside the rib cage. Elbows close to the body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and come all the way up to a full cobra. High on the shoulders. Look up and breathe. Now bend the knees enough to plant the toes in the floor behind you. Pick those hips up into the air. And again, we'll come up into that downward dog, up on those toes, push the heels down, head between the arms, lengthen the torso and arms, really bending up the hips, push out through those glutes. Rotate those shoulders down, triceps downward as best you can. And breathe in this downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. And now you can either walk your hands back toward the feet or slide your left and your right foot back up into Uttanasana, palms flat on the floor or Ardha Uttanasana, fingertips on the floor. Nice flat back as best you can, pushing out through those glutes, breathing. And now you may relax down and you may round up one vertebra at a time as you did before, or arms at your ears or your sides. You can bend the knees to modify to come up or keep the legs straight and flatten the back as you slowly come up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and either stretch up or arch back. Jaw closed for a better stretch on the neck. Don't forget to breathe. Up inhaling, exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Check the posture nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Take another deep cleansing breath. Inhale up, exhale, reach, and lower down. And now roll the shoulders back, great big circles, loosening up the torso as you roll. Keep those abs in tight throughout and straighten the arms for full range of motion. Breathe. Shake out, moving your hips from side to side. Shake your feet out as if you have water on your feet. And let's go ahead and get down to the floor without using our hands for support. I'm gonna change the view here just a little bit so that maybe we can see a little bit more. Come on down. If you need to use your hands, use your hands. But seated stick posture. Legs straight, back straight, arms straight. I'm gonna move my mat out a little bit so I have a little more room behind me and I don't 
get the chicken thing. I think that would be healthier for everyone. Especially me right now. So point the toes, flex the feet, relax the feet and release the hold with the hand. We're gonna go ahead and roll down to our back. So take a deep breath in, exhale and round down. One vertebra at a time. Arms at your sides, near your hips, palms down. Take a deep breath in, shoulders on the floor. Exhale and slowly bring both legs up perpendicular to the floor. Now, if you have any back issues, you're going to bend the knees and then straighten the legs up perpendicular to the floor. Point the toes, flex the feet, relax the feet, circle those feet round and round. Big circles, lower backs against the floor and the abs are in tight. And then change direction with those circles. Then point the toes, flex the feet, relax the feet, open the legs, place the hands on the inner thighs, putting pressure downward. You can move out just a little bit more. As I am hitting the curtains. But you're there with your legs apart, your hands are putting pressure on those inner legs. If you can keep the legs straight and the shoulders on the floor, slide down and put pressure on the calves or the ankles. Breathe. Point the toes. Flex the feet, pushing out through the heels. Keep that pressure on those inner legs. Relax the feet. Release the hold. Bring the legs up perpendicular to the floor, arms at your sides, near your hips, palms down. Point the toes, flex the feet. Keep the feet flexed and the legs straight and walk the ceiling. Arms are at your sides, near your hips, palms down. It's most important to keep those legs nice and straight and push out through those heels, walking the ceiling. Great for your core, but you've got to keep that lower back against the floor as best you can and those abs in tight. Then come back to the center, point the toes and cross one leg over and open wide in the scissor posture and cross the other leg over and open wide, back and forth. Do the scissor at your own pace also, keeping the lower back against the floor and the abs in tight. You did the walk, you're doing the scissor, you're breathing. And now come back to the center. Flex the feet, point the toes, relax the feet. Bend the knees and hug those knees into your chest with your arms, full wind releasing position, breathing, abs in tight, rolling from side to side if that feels good. You can also do the happy baby pose here instead of the full wind releasing position. And let's everybody do that for just a bit. Straighten the legs up. Bend the knees, bring the hands up and you can either hold the ankles with your hands or wrap your index fingers around your big toes. And the knees are bent and out to the side and you may roll the back against the floor from side to side in this happy baby pose. So either way, now you can keep doing the happy baby pose or be in that full wind releasing position, breathing. And if you have any knee issues, you can release the hold on your shins and you can hug your lower thighs under the knees in toward your torso. And that way it releases the pressure on your knees. But release the hold, feet hip width apart, knees straight up. 
we're going to do a bridge posture. Keep the knees and the feet hip width apart and as close to your glutes as possible. When you do a bridge, keep the head and neck straight. Just look straight up. Don't turn to the side to look. You must protect your neck. So right now we're gonna press the lower back into the floor, slightly picking up the hips, tightening the glutes, the quads and the abdominal muscles. Lower body is very tight, upper body is relaxed, the palms are up, the fingers are naturally curled up, shoulders are resting down into the surface below you. Again, upper body relaxed, lower body very tight. And your breathe. Now release the hold, inhale. Exhale, begin to roll the hips up into the air. Keep the head and neck straight. Bring the arms underneath you. If you can, clasp your fingers together and straighten the arms under your body. If not, just keep the arms as close together as possible. Push down with the palms and the arms. But if you can, straighten those arms and clasp the fingers together. Bring those arms, shoulders, and shoulder blades as close together as possible as you pick those hips up and push them into the air. Arch that back and breathe. Again, you can tighten the glutes, quads, and abs if you choose. Pushing down with the arms. Breathe. Now release the hold and slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. And as the lower back begins to touch the floor, bring those knees up and again, hug them into your chest with your arms. Full wind releasing position, breathing, abs in tight, rolling from side to side. You can move your head now. You may do the happy baby pose if that feels better for you than the full wind releasing position. Whichever you choose, focus on your posture and your breathing. And then come back to the center. Straighten the legs up perpendicular to the floor, arms at your sides, near your hips, palms down. Point the toes and flex the feet. Relax the feet and slowly lower those straight legs down toward the floor, slowly and in control. If you have any back issues, you're gonna bend the knees and slide the feet on the floor until the legs are straight. And if you haven't already done so, when you do reach the floor with the straight legs, take a deep breath into your system, inhaling through the nose, filling the lungs. Exhale and slowly bring the right leg up, inhale, or actually perpendicular to the floor. You're gonna inhale once you get it up there. Exhale, point the toe and flex the foot. Relax the foot, circle that foot round and round. Change direction with the circles. Point the toe. Flex the foot, relax the foot, bend the knee and hug it into your chest with your arms. Half wind releasing position, breathe, abs in tight. Remember to modify if you need to by releasing the hold and putting your hands on the back of the thighs. Listen to your body and breathe. And if you want a little more here, you can raise your head up toward that knee in the embryo position. Lower the head, inhaling. Exhale, release the hold. Hold the ankle or the foot or the toe with both hands and lower that right knee out on the right side of your body. And 
try to get it as close to the floor as you can, opening that hip. Breathe and keep the shoulders on the floor as best you can. Release the hold. Bring that leg back up. Straighten the leg up perpendicular to the floor. Arms at your sides near your hips, palms down. Point the toes and flex the foot. Relax the foot. If you have any difficulty keeping the leg straight, you can use a towel or a strap to wrap around the foot and hold it. But if you don't, you can put your hands on the back of the thigh. And if you can keep the legs straight and the shoulders on the floor, you can walk your hands up toward the calf or the ankle. If this bothers your back in any way, you can modify by bending the left or the other knee, having the knee up and the foot on the floor. So listen to your body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and bring the torso up toward that straight right leg. Point the toe. Flex the foot, pushing out through the heel. Don't forget to breathe. Lower the torso, inhaling. Exhale, relax the foot, walk your hands back down, bend that knee and begin, hug it into your chest with your arms. Half wind releasing position, breathing, abs in tight. This is actually good for your digestive system. The wind releasing positions half or full helps jumpstart that digestive system if you have any issues. Doing it several times. If you want a little more here, again, you can raise your head up toward the knee in the embryo position. Keep those abs in nice and tight throughout. Lower the head, inhaling. Exhale, release the hold, arms at your sides near your hips, palms down, point the toe, flex the foot. Relax the foot and slowly lower that straight right leg down toward the floor, slowly and in control. You're going to end up holding it about six inches off the floor, breathing. You can check the six inches if you want, point the toes, Flex the foot, relax the foot, and lower to the floor, inhaling. Exhale, push down with the arms and slowly bring that left leg up now, perpendicular to the floor. Point the toe, flex the foot. Relax the foot, circle that ankle round and round. Change direction with the circles. You're lubricating the ankle joints. Point the toes. Flex the foot, relax the foot, bend the knee and hug it into your chest with your arms. Half wind releasing position, breathing, abs in tight. Lower back is against the floor as best you can. And your shoulders are close to the floor if not on. And if you want a little more, you can raise that head up toward the knee in the embryo position. Abs in tight. Whatever you did on the other side of your body, try to do on this side as well. Lower the head, inhaling. Exhale and release the hold and hold the ankle, the foot, or the toes with your left hand and lower that knee out on the left side of your body. Get it as close to the floor as you can, opening that hip, holding the foot or the toes. Try to keep the shoulders on the floor as best you can and breathe. You're opening the hip. Release the hold, inhaling. Exhale and again, straighten that leg up perpendicular to the floor. If you're not using a towel or a strap, hands on the back of the thigh. 
If you can keep the leg straight, walk your hands up to the calf or the ankle, modify if you need to. Try to keep those shoulders on the floor until you bring the torso up. Now take a deep breath in, exhale and bring that torso up toward that straight left leg. Abs are in tight, you're breathing. Point the toe, flex the foot, pushing out through the heel. Feel the muscles. Don't forget to breathe. Lower the torso, inhaling. Exhale, relax the foot, walk your hands back down, bend that knee, and again, hug it into your chest with your arms. Half wind releasing position, breathing. Modify if you need to, listen to your body. And if you did it on the other side, if you want a little more, raise your head up toward that knee in the embryo position again. Abs in tight, breathing. Lower the head, inhaling. Exhale, release the hold, straighten that leg up, perpendicular to the floor, arms at your sides near your hips, palms down, point that toe, flex the foot. Relax the foot and slowly lower that straight left leg down toward the floor, slowly and in control. Again, you're going to hold it about six inches off the floor, breathing. Point the toe, flex the foot, relax the foot and lower to the floor, inhale. Exhale, push down with the arms and slowly bring both legs up again, perpendicular to the floor, modifying if you need to. Point the toes, flex the feet, relax the feet. Again, open those legs, place the hands on the inner thighs, putting pressure downward. And if you can keep the legs straight, slide the hands down to the calves or the ankles. Lower backs against the floor, abs are in tight, shoulders are on the floor as close as you can get them. Point the toes, flex the feet, pushing out through the heels. Relax the feet, release the hold, bring the legs up perpendicular to the floor, inhaling. Exhale, point the toes and flex the feet. Relax the feet, bend the knees and hug them into your chest with your arms. Full wind releasing position, breathing. Abs in tight, I'm rolling just a bit from side to side because we're going to do the full pelvic twist now to get a little twist in our, our torsos, our pelvises and our spines. So keep the knees high into the chest, but release the hold and place the arms in the T position, palms down. Shoulders remain on the floor as best you can. Keeping the knees as close to the quads, as close to the chest as possible. Lower those knees over on the right. Shoulders remain on the floor throughout. Turn and look at the opposite hand left in this case. A modification is just continuing to look up. Listen to your body and breathe. And keep those abs in tight throughout and roll the back against the floor as you roll those knees over to the left in the same manner, looking at the opposite hand, abs in tight breathing, and at your own pace, roll from side to side, massaging the back against the floor. And try to go the same distance on each side so you balance your body as best you can, breathing. And if you want a little more, when you're in the center, straighten the legs up perpendicular to the floor, point the toes and flex the feet. Keep the feet flexed and the legs straight as you lower those legs down on the right side of your body, as close to the floor and that hand as possible. Looking at the opposite side, shoulders on the floor, just like before. And then in a slow, fluid motion, Bring those straight legs up, rolling the back against the floor and lower them in the same manner on the left side of your body. 
looking at the opposite hand and at your own pace, go from side to side. Be sure to go slowly so you use your muscles and not momentum to the best of your ability. Always check the posture, breathing. Rolling the back against the floor. Massaging that back, promoting circulation, and hopefully preventing pain. It doesn't matter if your legs are straight or your knees are bent. It's so good for your body. When the legs are straight, you're just working your core and making your core stronger. It's more relaxing to have the knees bent. And if you haven't already done so, bend those knees and the last one will have the knees bent together. And come back to the center. Straighten the legs up perpendicular to the floor, point the toes, flex the feet pushing out through the heels. Relax the feet, place the soles of the feet together, bending the knees, and slowly lower those feet to the floor, allowing the knees to open. Let gravity just pull them down, and then slide the hands down closer to your torso, palms up, fingers naturally curled up, shoulders resting down into the surface below you. Eyes are closed and you're breathing in this bottle opener posture. We're going to go into Shavasana or full relaxation now. So to prepare, you can straighten the legs, sliding the heels on the floor, and just let the feet flop out to the side, then you'll be in that corpse posture. One of the most comfortable positions for most bodies. If you want a little more, arms at your sides near your hips, palms down, bring those legs up perpendicular to the floor. Lower back is against the floor when the legs are straight up. Point the toes, flex the feet. Relax the feet and slowly lower those straight legs down toward the floor, slowly and in control. Remember, if you have back issues, to bend the knees and slide the feet on the floor until the legs are straight. And if you haven't already done so, when you do reach the floor with the straight legs, take a deep breath into your system, inhaling through the nose, filling the lungs. Exhale and just relax your body in that corpse posture. Continue to breathe, but soon we'll take another deep breath into our systems together. And when we exhale, we'll fist and flex and tighten everything we can in our bodies, including our faces and our necks. So take a deep breath in. Exhale and tighten. <laughs> and release. And just relax down in that corpse posture. You may want to put something under your knees if you have any kind of back issues or it's uncomfortable in any way. Let those shoulders rest down into the surface below you. You may want to roll your heads from side to side until you find the most comfortable position for your head and neck. <clears throat> your eyes are closed. Open your minds. Open your minds and travel 
to one of your favorite safe places. Your safe place might be a place you know well and that you've been to many times. It might be a place only in your mind. And it also might be a place where you are alone or with your favorite person. Breathe. You're in that safe place. We'll move through your body, consciously releasing the joints and relaxing the muscles just a little bit more. Start with the hands and the fingers, relaxing the muscles, releasing the joints. As you move up the arm, Release the joints in your wrists. Relax the forearms. Release the joints in your elbows. Relax the upper arms, the biceps and triceps. Relax the shoulders, the deltoid and lateral muscles as you release the joints, the arms and shoulders are now relaxed, the hands are relaxed. Lower the focus now to the toes and the feet, relax the muscles, release the joints, allow the heels to sink deep into the surface below you, wherever you might be in your safe place. As you begin to move up the legs, release the joints in your ankles. Relax the shins. Relax the calves. Release the joints in your knees. Relax the hamstrings up the back of your legs. Relax the quadriceps as you relax the thighs. Relax the hips, releasing the joints. Relax the glutes. Allow the glutes to sink deeper into the surface below you, wherever you might be in your safe place. Your legs, hips, and feet are relaxed. The arms, shoulders, and hands are still relaxed. Let's focus on the torso now beginning at the lower back and spinal area. Relax the spinal area and the muscles of the lower back as you move up between them. Relax the obliques at the sides of the torso. Relax the abdominal muscles. Relax the diaphragm and ribcage area. Relax the mid part of your back and spinal cord. Relax the upper back and shoulder blades. As you relax the spinal column, moving up between the shoulder blades, through the neck to the base of the spine. Now focus on the chest. Relax the sternum area and pecs. Relax the clavicle or collarbone area. Focus again on the shoulders, relaxing the shoulders down into the surface below, even more with each exhalation. So much stress rests in our upper back and our shoulders. Just let that stress float away with each exhalation. Never invite that. Return.
stretch, torsos, relax. Just focus on the neck. Relax the neck from the bottom to the top. And all the way in. Release the jaw as you relax the chin. Relax the lips. Relax the tongue. Relax the cheeks. Relax the nose and ears. Relax the eyes and temples. Relax the brow. Smooth the forehead. And now relax the scalp, beginning at the forehead, at the perfect intensity of the view. Imagine the massage moving through the scalp to the base of the skull and the head. Breathe. Your mind is open. You're thinking healthy thoughts that make you happy. You're in your safe place. Your body is relaxed and functioning perfectly. And now from wherever you may have traveled in, it is time to come home. So take a deep breath into your system. Exhale and become aware of your fingers and toes, your wrists and your ankles. Take another deep breath in. Exhale and bring those legs up, bending the knees, hug them into your chest and arms. Raise the head up toward the knee. Lower the head and inhale. Exhale and you will roll to your right to sit up or rock and roll back to a seated position, sitting cross legged. Half lotus, full lotus, whatever way feels best for you, nice and tall. Bring the arms up and hail. Exhale, prayer position. Hold the position, inhale. Exhale, and thank you very much for coming. Namaste. Hope you all feel better than when we started. You got what you needed. And please unmute yourselves as I stop the recording. Thank you so much for being here.